I hope they don't, uh... Oh, shit! Um... We might be in trouble here. Let's run back downstairs here, quick, and... Get in here. And block that off. <laughs> I'm out of wood! Oh my god! Why do I get myself into these things? Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Seven Days to Die on Alpha 19. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Insane series where we play on Insane Difficulty Zombies. We're all set the Nightmare Speed. And we are going to find ourselves a place to live today. That's what we're going to do here in Episode 4. So let's go ahead and get started. It is um, 1636, uh, so 4.30-ish in the afternoon. Um, we uh, pretty much sold everything that we wanted to uh, to the trader. We have uh, a little over 1,100 coin there. And I've got enough stuff for bacon and eggs. Uh, plus, we have cooking pot and grill. So we just need to find a place to live um, and then go from there. So let's pop out of here. There's the good old fire station. Uh, oh, shit. Let's go this way. Uh, we're, we're actually staying in the fire station on my multiplayer server. We just started that up last night. Is that Zeker going to chase me all the way over here? And Mofo. Uh, so I would like to live next to the trader. Uh, but we can't be right next to him because then we'll have problems with the land claim block. So let's see here. We got Skater Punk coming down that way. We got Edgar coming that way. Man, they're just closing in on me. Son of us. Might be kind of cool to live in that house. We'd have to... Uh, we have to spike it or dig a moat around it or something to keep them, you know, from tearing it up. Tearing it up. So I don't know. Let's let's look around before we make any decisions. Uh, that house could be kind of fun to live in too, like a big old mansion. Um. Okay. So what do we got over here? If we wanted to to build something from scratch, we got a nice big flat open field out here behind the trader. So that is another consideration. But I don't know. I don't know that I want to do that right yet. I think we need to just select a POI and plop down our land claim uh, for the moment. Until we, you know, can kind of get our our feet under us, so to speak, and then, you know, then decide on a more permanent location. So I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, that place, that place is going to be too close to the trader. Plus, it's in pretty bad shape anyway. It does have a pretty nice basement down below. But the, here again, the problem is if we try and set a land claim down. Let's just look at this for a second. Yeah, see the bounds there? They won't... Uh... Let's get back here. Okay. Yeah, see, they, they won't encompass it. We're, it's just too damn close to the trader. So that's not really an option. Um, I don't want to live in the oil company. And there's not really anything else this way. So let's go look this way. I mean, I suppose we could do the fire station. It's it's a not, not a bad place. I mean, it's pretty stout for the most part. It, it's You know what, though? It's awfully close to the trader, too, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably not going to work either. Okay, well, let's look... We got the ham radio place. We got um, whatever the hell that big place is. Creamery, that's new. This is a possibility here. We'd have to do some fixing up, which isn't a bad thing because we get a lot of XP from doing the fixing up and gathering the resources to do the fixing up. I played it. Uh, I played. I stayed in a POI kind of similar to this in my first Alpha 18 series when it came out a um, long time ago. Let, let's nerd pull up here and just take a look-see. See what, what we're dealing with here. Yeah, you know, we could we could make we could turn this into like a a horde a horde base area or Horde 7 and maybe 14. Let's, uh, let's keep looking here. This, this might work. 
I just want to see if we have if we have any sleepers we're going to have to clear out. We need to make some more, some more wood frames too. He's probably trying to break in through that plywood down there. Um, let's get these upgraded. Okay, so this room is clear. Um, so we could use that. That is definitely a possibility. Let's check the roof. Make sure there's no vultures or other nasties up here. Okay, so it appears to be clear of sleepers. Um, It's right next to the trader, but not so close to it that we couldn't get our land claim down. And it has a potential area down here that we could you know turn into a an early game horde base so i i don't know i'm it seems like it it probably would be a good choice but i kind of wanted to maybe live in a house though <laughs> i'll tell you what let's do let let's let's go ahead and set up shop here for now um just so we have a place you know that we can put stuff down and and do all that with but um, we won't necessarily, this isn't necessarily going to be our main place. Okay, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and set up shop in here for now, uh, but potentially temporary. So we need to make ourselves a storage chest. Actually, how much wood do I have? It takes 10 wood. Yeah, let's just make one for now, but I'm going to make more than that here pretty soon. we got to go cut some wood. There's so much stuff we got to do here. And maybe what we'll do is we'll put the, the crafting stations along that wall, and we can put the storage... Uh, up along the top of here. All right. Next thing I want to do is build a campfire. Uh, let's make sure that it covers the whole area. I think it will. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We are good. So we won't get any spawns in this building. Cool. Okay, and then we can put our campfire right on top of you. And we'll put this in here and this in here. A little bit of wood. And let's make some bacon and eggs. We already have water, so we're doing good on water. And then, like I said, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll organize the chest later. I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. Um, one of our first priorities needs to be to get a forge going too, by the way. Uh, which means we're going to need leather. What are we going to need for that? Let's take a look. Okay, so we're going to need tin leather. Um, we're going to have to come across one more duct tape or find some glue and make some duct tape. And then, of course, you know, dig up the stone and the clay. We have, we have the pipes that we need, so uh, we're in good shape on that. So we're going to put stuff in here that we don't need right now. I was using the club on the multiplayer server, um, and I kind of liked it, except for, but we're not, we're just playing on normal difficulty on multiplayer. We're not playing on 
you know, uh, nightmare speed. Because, you know, the club, the, the problem with the club on, the, on nightmare speed is the zombies are going to hit you. I mean, there's just no way around it, especially in the early game when you don't have enough skills to keep them stun locked. Which, by the way, is another thing they mentioned in the patch notes that it's harder to stun lock zombies now. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know. This could work okay when we have them blocked behind behind the door because I'm going to be able to get more hits and l use less stamina than the sledge. But then, of course, the sledge does more damage overall. So, you know, it's kind of a question of, you know, what what's really the more efficient way to do it. So I, I think I'm going to try this. We'll just try it a little bit and see how, how it goes. And then, um, you know, if I don't feel like it's really as effective as we need it to be, then we'll... Uh, We'll do something else and i think i want to keep everything else with me this we want to we want to go ahead and set down so uh let's just get rid of this bed all right so home sweet home it's a start it's a start now we're gonna have to secure this stairwell because this is how they can get up here so for now i think we're just going to uh, put a door in Now, if we get, you know, if we get rushed, then I'll, I'll set a block, you know, down there and we'll eventually get this upgraded to cobble and then later on concrete, it, you know, if we actually stay here for the long term, which again, I haven't decided that yet, but we just needed, you know, to get a place for, for now, because it's almost nighttime again. And I don't want to, I don't want to be out and about too much at night with the ferals running around. Okay. Let's see here. Um... I want to get this upgraded to to that. I wish I wish they would bring back the old days where we could upgrade, you know, wood to iron. For one thing, I thought it looked kind of cool, but it just makes things a little bit more of a pain in the ass now. In my humble opinion. Okay, so let's put that stuff in there. And yeah, I think you know we definitely need more wood. We need to dig up some clay. Uh, we're going to need a little more stone, probably, too, especially if we're going to make cobble. And, um, and start focusing on getting a fort. So we're going to have to either make some glue to make that other duct tape or find some. So, you know, we'll start hitting some trash cans and whatnot. So let's go out and uh, start working on those things. Since this is still intact, I'm actually going to leave that there. Uh, for now and so the way we'll get in and out of here oh yeah you know what we got to clear all this shit too don't we um yeah let me let me get this cleared first before we do anything else and we'll get a little bit of stone and sand out of it too uh, because yeah we need to do that so did we go we never went all the way in here did we There is a safe in here. Look at that. Man, I don't know if it's worth our while, though, to try and break that safe open while we're still game stage two. <laughs> It'll be a lot of effort, and we won't probably get anything that, that good out of it, you know? What do we have in here? Oh, there's some glue. Look at that. That's our duct tape. All right, cool. We got our duct tape. Yeah, we'll we'll come back to that safe later. That isn't going to be worth it right now. All right, guys. Well, let me get uh, let me get uh, some of this ruined stone out of here so we can, you know, get this place somewhat secured. All right. I think that's good enough for now. It is uh, going to need more attention. Definitely, you know, later on, especially before Horde Night. But for now, that it should work. Let's turn this into duct tape right now. But that'll keep that'll keep single zombies anyways from getting up here. If if we get a group of them, they could pile up on each other's shoulders. But hopefully that won't happen. Okay, so uh, we've got ourselves 447 stone and 120 sand out of all that, and a little bit more XP. So the next thing we need is clay, and we're gonna we need more wood too. We're super low on wood. We've got uh, that Zikaruski down there. I wonder if we could get her attention and pull her into our little cubby down there. 
Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, what we could do here is, for Horde Knight 7, is I could just set up some wood bars. You know, repair these concrete blocks. And set up some wood bars, and then we could just stand up here and shoot them with our bow. Uh, but we need to get rid of her. She's going to be a problem. Okay, come over here, lady. All right, let's give this club a try. Over here, dummy. Hey, I'm right here. Come get me. The nice thing about it is, you know, it's a little faster than the sledge and it doesn't use as much uh, stamina, you know. So we might we might give give the club a try. I mean, I, I'm, I've been a sledgehammer guy for the last, I don't know, <laughs> pretty much all through Alpha 18. Uh, maybe not in the early, but I started using it later on and just really, really liked it, you know. And, and I just, I don't really use a club on a, on a, a nightmare speed, but... For this kind of purpose, it could actually work quite well. She never touched that, did she? Okay. I know it's dark as hell too, guys. I'll uh, I'll probably put some, you know, turn the brightness up for you uh, in uh, when I'm editing. Uh, but I don't want to do that while I'm playing the game because I want to keep it dark for immersion purposes. Oh, look at that. We'll take that. And we got another one of those too. Okay, so clay and wood. And you know what? Let's... Uh, I don't want this entire episode just to be me, you know, getting clay and wood <laughs> and stuff like that. So let's actually go do that little little remnant POI too, because there's a there's a loot bag in the uh, a weapons bag inside of there in a the kitchen with some other stuff that we could potentially use. Um, so let's do that. And the way we'll get up here for now is we'll just nerd pull. Uh, maybe we'll nerd pull from there. I wonder how zombies in um, A19 here uh, work with ladders. I mean, can they climb up, you know, on a too high, too high ladder or not? I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? What I, what I mean by that is a ladder that's, you know, two blocks off the ground. Yeah, okay. Let's try that and see. See what happens. So sometimes this place has a sleeper or two in it, and sometimes it doesn't. It just, you know, it's kind of the luck of the draw, so to speak. Well, that's... I think I heard my stomach growl, and I heard a sleeper growl at the same time. <laughs> oh, and look at this, you guys. No more food poisoning from cooked food. Oh, man. I was... That was so stupid. <laughs> anyway, I mean, don't even get me started on that. But uh, they removed it, so thank goodness for that. They still think, though, that it takes five pieces of raw meat to make one piece of cooked meat. I'll never, for the, as long as I live, understand the rationale behind that. You know, and their, their argument is, well, we give you more meat. Well, that's fine, but what if I have four pieces of meat? Then I can't do anything with it, right? So rather than give us more meat, just give us two pieces of meat and let us make two pieces of cooked meat. Hey! Wow. You got a good whack off on us, didn't he? I got it. Oh shit. Got somebody's attention. It's Hawaii 5 0. Alright, um. We need to ditch this guy. Fortunately, we can outrun him. Fatso. We just gotta be careful that we don't run into another zombie while we're trying to ditch this guy. <laughs> like we just about did there. Did we get that Zeker's attention? I don't think we did. All right, let's further encourage both Hawaii 5 and that other zombie to get the hell out of Dodge. Go chase a rock. There you go.
There he is. Okay, go away. What in the hell? Oh, that's that's a that's a wandering horde. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you guys go ahead and kill yourselves. That's exactly what I want to see. Look at the new fire. That looks good. I love it. Come on, Fatso, get out of here. All right, hopefully he'll... Oh, man, I don't know, you guys. With the wandering horde that just came through here, now we got a bunch of Zeeks that are going to be hanging out in this area. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Um, I'm actually going to leave that barricade in place. I don't think there's going to be more sleepers down in here. Guess I don't know that for, for a certainty though, do I? Let's scrap those. Uh, I don't think I'm going to keep the nitrate for now. Let's throw another rock here. All right, so let's look down inside and see if we can see another sleepy. So let's go ahead and cover this up so it's not like completely open. That's not going to stop them for long, but... Hopefully they'll try and get at me through here and not the other way. There's our wrench. Okay, good. Good deal. Usually if there's these in here, they're they're going to be down in the basement, so we should, theoretically, be able to break this without getting anybody's attention. If there's going to be one, they're usually in that chain link fence area. So let's block that temporarily. I think they might be able to get out on the other side, though, too. Oh, there's some cobble. We, we're going to grab that before we leave. Well, that's kind of scary. Yeah, that was a that was a little creepy. Okay, where's our club? I don't know. I don't mind the club, but I think the sledgehammer is maybe a little more effective. We'll tr we'll keep it a little bit longer before we make any final decisions on that. Okay, we should be clear. Let's take a look at the weapons bag. Blunderbuss ammo. Okay, well, at least they're they're providing us with, with blunderbuss ammo. And we got some iron arrows too, which actually is not bad. Not bad at all. Do I have any grass on me? I don't. Shit. So I need to make a shovel. Doggone it. All right. Well, we'll have to come back down here then, I guess. Ammo pile. I almost forgot that, didn't I? Okay, knuckle wraps. There's a lockpick. We could go try that safe. <laughs> We'd have one chance. 
All right, guys. Well, I think that's it for this little remnant POI, and I think that's probably about it for this episode, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back outside, um, and I'm going to make myself a shovel, come back in here and grab the cobble, and I might go ahead and harvest all these uh, cardboard boxes, too, because we get paper and plastic, I think. Definitely paper. Let's see if we get plastic from this, too. Yep, we sure do. All resources, you know, that we can use later on. Plus, I get a little XP for doing it. So I'll probably clear everything out of here. And then I'm going to go dig some clay up. And we've got it. The, the other thing we have to find is leather. So let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to come up with leather. I, I had like, what, three or four back at the base. Now we could scrap that for one leather. <laughs> okay. Okay, how are we doing on food and water? Let's Let's take this now. Uh, and that'll give us some healing and should get our food pretty much all the way back to the top. And then we'll drink a water. We still have a 3% chance of dysentery on water. See, that that do also doesn't make sense because, guys, this is boiled water. That's the whole reason you boil water is to get rid of dysentery and other microbials. But whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> there are some things we're just going to have to still deal with in our beloved zombie game here, like... Five pieces of meat for one cooked. And the new thing in the patch notes, I don't know if I've talked about this. I don't know if I've complained about this yet or not, but in the patch notes, they have it to where when you're riding in a vehicle, you consume food and water faster. Why? <laughs> How does that even make sense at all? You know? Uh, anyway, it is what it is. But let's kill this guy first. See if we can start him on fire. We have to move that out of the way. Oh, he's feral. Oh, shit. I'm hitting. I'm hitting the block. Yeah, I don't get that, man. Okay, let's get a twofer. Oh, they're all coming. Not good. Okay, here we're we're gonna have to double this up. That's a lot of bad boys right there. Guys, I'm supposed to be ending the episode, and you're messing it all up. Oh, shit. Man, this thing takes so long to reload. I hope they don't, uh... Oh, shit! Um... We might be in trouble here. Let's run back downstairs here quick and get in here and block that off. <laughs> I'm out of wood. Oh my god. Why do I get myself into these things? Did that not even hit him? Come on, this isn't fair. We're supposed to be ending the episode right now. Son of us. At least he's not hitting the wood wood block. Holy shit. What do we do now? <laughs> what do we do? We're supposed to end the episode, not do this. Um I have no way to upgrade that block, so if they decide to hit it, we are screwed. Okay, let's see if they do the same thing that Hawaii 5 0 was doing. We've already hit this feral a couple times. He's got to be somewhat damaged. Okay, he's dead. Good. I'm trying to t I'm trying to decide if that's one or two zombies that's out there. It sounds like there might be two. We we so lucked out, you guys. All they had to do was try and hit that block. Uh, you know what though? They might they might not be able to get through here. I don't know. I'm not sure if they could or not. Because I don't even know if I can get through there without, without uh, you know, crouching. I've missed Edgar twice now. There. 
I got him. <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, we're gonna shoot you in the no oh, shit. Is he coming down here? Yep, he sure is. Edgar, what in the hell are you doing? I don't know, can I shoot through stairs? Nope. No. <laughs> he doesn't know how to get past those wood frames. Just break him, you dummy. Come over here so I can kill you. And end this episode. <laughs> Get his moves. That's hilarious. I'm just going to go for body shots because he's too squirrely to try and hit in the face. Will you just die? Holy shit. Okay, that was terrible. I, uh, wasted all my blunderbuss ammo. <laughs> well, I don't know if wasted's the term. I could have, I could have maybe been a little more effective with it, but it was hard to hit that guy because he was just moving like crazy. Uh, but the blunderbuss ammo also kind of saved our ass. Uh, you know, when we got rushed by that first group, so... It is what it is. We survived. That's the main thing. Now we just have to continue to survive. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.